I guess over the DXY, so I guess I'll be starting on the weekly. As you can see, the weekly time frame, I have to highlight my what? My lowest low and my highest height of the structure. So nowadays, I'm just focusing on the current structure. There's no need of me focusing on the previous structures, things like that. So when I have it like this, um, I had to, I have to also look at some possible levels where price could have 10, that's the possible level. So from the weekly guys, I will go to the what, I'll go to the daily time frame. Let's go to the daily time frame. If there's, if there's noise on your background, can you mute your mic? Because I'm not ready to be telling people to keep quiet. And then I'll go to the daily time frame. As you could see on the daily time frame, um, there was there was nice stuff here happening because if you could check, we had what we had the, we had this structure. This is the low going high. You could see prices really moving in a good way. And then again we have the low, and still prices still moving in what in a perfect way. Then again, guys, um, you can zoom so you can focus on what we call patterns within patterns, things like that. As you could see, we have a what one two one two three. So this is the low. You know, so we had a one, two, three, and that's the low. So from the daily, we're gonna go to the what? We're gonna go to the four hour. So as we are focusing on the four hour, you could see prices reach that level in a what? In an impulse way. So if price reaches a level in an impulse way, you need to know what might happen. But there's something interesting. Price failed to break that level. It reached that level, and I feel like it's doing what? It's rejecting. You know. So if price was to reject that level, you need to expect something like this. Um, impulse to the downside and you had a what a correction and down with the impulse so that's what you can what you can expect so for now guys i'll go to um the what you call to the one hour so this is sort of like a top-down analysis you see so on the one hour truly speaking there isn't much to be done you know you can just look at the market and say ah you know what but then like you can use what you call them the what is, where is it the bar pattern the bar pattern I can use this touch here going down as what as the price predicting to this level so I can say I'm expecting something like that and if you were to check it makes more sense let's go to the what M15 so on the M15 you could see that price has already started to do what price has already started to drop you know and price dropped with the what price dropped with the impulse. So after price drops at the impulse, you need to know what you expect next, which is what? A correction. So we think this one is going to be what? The M15 correction, you know? So if this one is the M15 correction, we have a continue, we have a confirmation on what will happen next, which is a what? Which is a deep, deep, deep sell. So when you're selling, you have something like that, you can go to the four hour just to monitor your trade. So in this setup, I see it like this. So if there's anyone who doesn't understand, you can like ask your question right now. So you all understand. Yeah, yeah I understand this one fully. And is, is there anyone who has a who has a say, or maybe <clears throat> you you see something different? Yo, is this one I killed it last week. So this was GBP um USD. As I said, uh, we start from where weekly. So on the weekly, this is the highest height of the structure. Um, this is the lowest low of the structure, and this is the highest height of all structure. So from the weekly, I go to what I go to the daily. So on the daily, we have this low. This is on the what? This is on the daily. This was this was on the height. So if you were to see it, right, guys, you could see that we have these going down, which is perfect. As it as it goes down, you could see prices forming a what? A double bottom for me. So with the double bottom, you need to wait and see on what will happen. So most of the time we say what's done on the upside has to be done on the what? On the downside, something like this. So now we're gonna move to the what? We move to the four hour. As we go to the four hour, 
you could see we had an impasse. This is a correction, strong correction. So here is it, you know, impasse. It went with an impulse down and it gave you a steep correction. And that's when you expected the what you expected the sell. So again, guys, you could see that, okay, things are supposed to be like this. So for you to like enter the trade, you could have had another confirmation. What was supposed to be the confirmation? Um, the, the, the large flag, you understand this flag here, which was the what, which was the large flag. This is the large flag. So you could have capitalized with this large flag. So now we're gonna go to the what, to the one hour. So even on the one hour, you could see the price is just moving in its own way. Uh, but then it was moving in a nice way, you know? You can't say it wasn't moving in a nice way because money was made. So now when we zoom the stru structure overall, we have to say, see something similar. You understand? Like we have to see something which will add up. So now we have a what we have. What is the biggest question? Where are we going to enter? You understand, guys? So that's where we need to have the question. So first thing, guys, that you need to wait for, wait for price to touch this low. You understand? If price touches the low, yeah, you can enter. But then if price never touches the low, don't enter, you know, because you'll be caught in the wrong side of what? In the wrong side of the market. And I hope you don't want to be caught in the wrong side of the market. If you get caught in the wrong side of the market, you'll be donating the money to the market. You see, so that, that's simple. Have you, have you ever seen the feeling of trading, but then like you just keep donating? Like you're always trading, but you're donating. You trade, donate, trade, donate. So now, guys, um, this is what you call the last kiss. What is the last kiss? The last kiss is the last selling part. I call it the last kiss, yeah? You could see that um, this pair, it gave us the last kiss which it shows you that, okay, you know what, I'm still gonna sell. I am still gonna sell. So I can take a sell position from that level. Take profit has to be near. Remember, this one is a risky one, you know? So on the M15, I have an entry. So I can hold it on the one hour cause we still have to do what we still have to reach that level. As everything clear, right, is you have to reach that level. So most of the time, the time frame I enjoy being at is the two hour holding my trades cause it allows me to see whatever happens in the market, you know? So the four hours when I'm looking at the long run. So, but then guys, you see that this thing, it's making sense even on the, what do you call it? On the, um, what is it? Even on the H4, it still makes sense. You could see that, okay, such things might happen or such things can happen. So just wait for your what? Wait for your perfect double bottom, even though there is no such thing called perfect double bottom, but then you just have to wait. So till we figure out that thing there. So is there anyone who has a, a question on this one or you all understand? Yeah, I have a question, Ananda. Um, you said you, you'd see like a short-term sell for the M15, but you trade, you track it on the two hour. Um, I said, I said in I terms said of like managing hour, your trade. I said the two hours, okay. I frame my call. I feel comfortable like being at. Oh, okay. So if you enter on the 15, you also manage your trade on the 15, right? No, I'll go to the two hours. Like you know, trailing stop minutes, losses or knowing when to pull. The 15 minutes, I just get my entry and that's it. So if I get my entry on the M15, I'll go to the two hours. The two hour is the only time frame. Remember the target, this target, I got it on the 15, but then it also shows in the two hour. Like the two hour is just the time frame where I feel like I'm comfortable when I'm at. Oh, okay. Okay. So can you go to the next one? Yes. Okay, this was number two. I'll only do like, I think five or 10. Yeah, five. Because I have to also... I wanna trade the right today, you know? I wanna cover up some expenses, so I have to trade hard. <laughs> you know, like, it's when Forex, like, comes in real life, you know, you need to put on the work, so I have things to pay. I have to trade. Yeah. Again, guys, uh, this is GBP, CHF, highest height. It's perfect. Low is low. And then now, we need a structure. 
you can sometimes get your structure, guys, on the bigger time frame. You see this one? This trend line was pretty big here. You see? So this is a perfect one for me. So now we are into deep into the market. Okay, we have that. You had your one, two, three inside the structure. Again, we have something like this. So now this thing turns into an expansion. You see, so now you're having something like this. So because here you think there might be a possible double bottom, you put that. So if the double bottom doesn't come, doesn't come through, always know that you have a second option, which is the third touch, you know. So most of the time you just have to have your third touch. When you have your third touch, ah, now nah, you're done with it, you know. Just have your third touch. You know that okay, if price fails to break here, we're coming to this third touch. You see, you get so when you're on this third touch, ah, then you're blessed. So now we're gonna go to the what to the daily. So this is how you see the daily. On the daily, price has been respecting everything. As you can see from the height, we had a triple top. We had Z, one more than triple, one, two, three. It was more, you see. And then again, we had these here, which price broke. And like price broke this level. So if price breaks this level, then now it gives me some chill vibes. Like, nah, man, I feel like now we're going for a different day, you know, guys. If it doesn't give you that chill, then I don't know. You're trading the wrong market or you're doing the wrong things. If you can check, we have the first touch, second touch. It was supposed to be a double bottom, but price broke. Then now you're coming for your third touch. So taking these positions, you have to be taking it in a what? In a formation of a buy. You understand, guys? A formation of a buy, roughly around that level. You know, because price didn't respect whatever I thought it will respect, you know? So if price doesn't respect my setup, so I have to understand that I'm not controlling the market. So as we go to the four hour, on the four hour, you could see that, okay, price was moving quite well. You know, guys, price was moving quite well. There's nothing to be done even on this time frame. Let's go to the one hour. Um, even on the one hour, there's still nothing to be done. You know, guys, we have the structure. So I can't even go to the M15 because everything is just right in front of us. So if price breaks this level, we're going for the third touch. And when you're going for the third touch, you have to wait for something like this before you can enter your position. And then now I can go to the time frame where I'm comfortable, which is the two hour, and I can observe everything from the two hour. So that's why, like, did everyone understand this one? Come on, man. Yeah. What are you doing? Did everyone understand, guys? I don't have all time. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. All right. So now we're going to be analyzing BTC USD. This is my favorite, and the market is up right now. I'll even show you how I make most of my money trading Bitcoin. You know? I think I'll, I'll show you how I make most of my money trading Bitcoin. So now, guys, um, we are on the weekly on Bitcoin, guys, you know. But then, guys, guys, are you making money or it's still a long story? So this is a Bitcoin double top, low is low. Then now let's go to the day. Give me some funny sound. So on the daily, you are having, you are having, you are having these. Um, one, two, three. That's what you are having. And then you have these as the low. And then you switch from the daily to the four hour. So in the four hour, I think you're going to be doing some correction. Yeah, you see, price is sort of like giving you a correction. But then it's not a clear one on the four hour. So let's go to the one hour. Maybe we're going to see a clear correction. So yeah, as I go to the one hour, guys, who's making noise? Yeah, guys. Guys, who's making noise? Numvu langos. Man, I can't work like this. Most of the time, I'll end the life, and then I want to be blamed or end the, the what do you call the, the session because. 
I mean, like that sound is distracting to be honest. Here's a bet. If Bitcoin doesn't do this, we can I can bet 2k on it. Who's up for a bet on 2k if Bitcoin doesn't do this? I need someone who doubts the, the strategy of trend line. I'm saying let's bet 2k the price will be Yeah, who's still making noise though? 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 Okay, guys. Um, guys, that's it for me. Mm -hmm. Guys, um, when you when you when you guys are serious, we'll host more Zoom sessions. I'm out. Just remove Kennedy. <laughs>